Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Webmasters, thinking about moving your GoDaddy site to WordPress? In this tutorial we will guide you throughout the steps to transfer your GoDaddy website to WordPress, ensuring a smooth transition. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So guys, in this video, we will show you how you can move your GoDaddy website builder into WordPress website builder. So first of all, let me just give you a brief look into the GoDaddy website builder and how it looks like and why many, many, many people would like to actually move it out of the way. So this is the website. Let me just click on edit website so you can take a look at it. And this is the page builder of GoDaddy. It is very basic, just simple page. It doesn't have a lot of details in here that can help us throughout our building process. Now, how can we move this website from here? Let's say you liked it, you worked on it, and you simply wanna keep up the design, keep up everything that you made. You simply need a couple of, couple of plugins that GoDaddy doesn't have, and WordPress will give to you. Well, first of all, in this tutorial, you are going to follow this article, which is very, very enhanced with details and information. So, before you can start this tutorial, you need to have a blank WordPress site ready to go. This is where you will move all of your GoDaddy website builder content. So, if you already have a WordPress website, that's wonderful. Otherwise, you need to create one get a hosting basically you can get one on GoDaddy themselves you can just simply buy it on GoDaddy so this is something that you have to do now how to migrate GoDaddy website builder to WordPress so the basic process to move GoDaddy website builder to WordPress is to download all of your content GoDaddy we will share a free tool that helps speed up the process but you basically need to do this manually and manually add your GoDaddy content to WordPress. So GoDaddy doesn't offer an export feature for any elements on your website, which is why you need to do it manually. It's one of the reasons GoDaddy isn't the greatest place to build a website. So yeah, as we said, uh, for example, in WordPress, you could use all in one migrates, migration. And this is a very, very good tool that will help you to export and import uh, the website from WordPress and export it somewhere else or import it somewhere else but GoDaddy doesn't have such plugins you can't really download this image so what you should do basically is a pretty pretty tiring process if you really want to do it so first of all guys if you went to here let me just show you the website let me just publish it um, yeah let's save and publish let me just open the website first so I can show you what I mean with doing stuff manually because it's very very long process that you will need to understand so now it is publishing view sites and this is the website let's accept and what you need is basically click here I know this is stupid guys I'm sorry guys but this is the only way this is the only way that you can do it click here save image as downloaded copy this and then paste it somewhere so you can save it this is very tiring. I understand. And this is th basically they are saying here. They are saying this basically. It's one of the reasons GoDaddy isn't the greatest place to build a website. So you are already in a bad place. This is why the tools and the things that you have to do to copy things from here are pretty boring, pretty odd, and you are just doing stuff that usually people were doing in 2008 or 2005. So now there is issues such as all in one WordPress migration, I don't know, GoDaddy can, should keep up with the time, should upgrade the tools a, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. So now, what you should do as they said, is copy everything manually. So you can download something such as download all such files, so it's called HTC Track Website Copier, including blog posts, web pages, and some images. So there is a good news and bad news about exporting from GoDaddy. The bad news is that exporting is all done with the third party tools and your own manual labor. The good news is that you can download almost all of your site's elements in one step. The quickest option is to install the 
tool called HTT Track. It allows you to download an entire website and make local directory directories for that site on your own computer. Go to the HTT Track website and click on the download section link. And choose the download link that's recommended by HTT Track. Go throughout the installation steps for HTT Track. And as you can see, this is the tool. Click on next, next, and as you can see, uh, choose the project name and then project category. And then, here, when you are almost done, choose the WordPress or basically your go to the domain name paste it right here. So, you have to do that action. Make sure that this is download websites, and after that, click on please adjust. Do not collect the provider already collected. This connection will finish, and then click on finish. As you can see now. You can uh, like literally find it right here. They will start downloading every single file of your uh, website. So it is pretty simple, and you will find it here. So all the details, all the files, you will find them in the files on the left. So you can find here my website site, and you will find the details that you actually have. So after that, you can find uh, like your basically. Uh, the documents and stuff that you have so the one downside in this method is that many of your images won't get downloaded to your computer with GoDaddy there's no fix for this situation so this is why I told you guys you need to do the save as as you saw so you need to do a save as save as for every single picture now save GoDaddy websites printed images and then right click save images save as etc etc and you will be good to go right after that now import content from GoDaddy website builder to WordPress to do so you have to add blog posts so to add a GoDaddy blog post to WordPress click on post add new in your WordPress dashboard and find the blog post file on your computer you said well, this before using one of two methods as an individual site file or throughout the HTT track and you simply have to copy code paste it right here and you will find it pretty simple in your website now also there is a downside for this method guys is basically the template that you have in here is not gonna follow you all the way to go or to WordPress so the template in GoDaddy is a pretty unique template that will not allow you to copy it simply and paste it on any other websites just like that so you have to really look for someone that actually can make a replica of this template so you can really really have such templates in your WordPress website otherwise you can use one of WordPress uh, templates they have thousands and thousands of templates and uh, not like GoDaddy that have around 30 templates in total so this is something that you can take as consideration and use it for your benefit. So this is pretty much it guys for today's video. This is how you can move your GoDaddy website to WordPress. Thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial.